Astrotometry log. It's July 29th, 2010. It's approximately 10.50 UTC. This is a tropical cyclone watch for the southern hemisphere. This is the most recent map from the weather underground showing no storms and no tropical cyclones, um, hurricanes, typhoons anywhere in the world right now. And the Navy is not tracking any depressions, not investigating any uh, low pressure systems. And this is unusual because the Atlantic hurricane season, preseason forecasts, were for the, by, well, the, the forecast by the uh, NOAA was for 8 to 14 hurricanes and 3 to 7 major hurricanes of category 3 or higher with 14 to 23 named storms. So far we've only seen one hurricane, Hurricane Alex, which was category 2. Tropical Tra Depression 2 didn't make it to tropical storm status and Storm Bonnie didn't make it to hurricane status. And this is sort of unusual considering the reasons for the prediction, which were based on uh, weaker wind shear and warmer temperatures. And the temperatures in the area have been very warm. The water is uh, well warm enough to support um, the formation of a hurricane. But six days before Bonnie formed, anyone who is um, following astrotometry, if you were watching the C3 feed, you could see this little puny coronal mass ejection on the 16th and 17th. And this is the impetus, this is the force that moved through the current sheet that produced Tropical Storm Bonnie um, several days before. Um, and so if you had been watching the C3 uh, data feed, you could have seen this and known that there was going to be some activity. Now the solar activity in cycle 24 has been very, very weak. This is a very, very weak coronal mass ejection. And therefore I had forecast that we wouldn't be seeing a very strong season. And as I predicted, the storm activity is following uh, the coronal uh, mass ejections. And now, uh, the, 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 there was another one that came after this down here in the southern hemisphere. And then now we see uh, this yesterday and today. We're getting a fairly significant coronal mass ejection. This isn't, this isn't, I mean, if you compare it to some of the ones from the last cycle, this isn't very significant, but it's, it's significant for what we've been seeing. And so this is going to be associated with a storm um, in the coming week. And so this is going to be a southern hemisphere storm. And so the forecast is for the next five or so days we'll see this same calm, uh, completely calm um, map. And then um, about six or seven days from now, we'll see a, a tropical depression form that will turn into a probably category, I would say a category two, maybe possibly category three hurricane, but probably a category two hurricane. This is probably category two. Now, if there's another coronal mass ejection um, that follows this before the this this moves through the current sheet, that's associated with a large spike in X-rays. This this energetic form could be disrupted, and so it may not reach category two if it's if it's disrupted by another coronal mass ejection. But as long as the sun remains calm as it's been um, for the next um, few days, next, I guess, f five or six days, then we'll see 
um, a cyclonic storm start to form down here in the southern hemisphere. And so that is all for now. And thank you for watching.